But when we passed the American Rescue Plan, I want to remind everybody, it was designed to help us over the course of a year, not 60 days, a year. We never thought that after the first 50 or 60 days, everything would be fine. Today, there's more evidence that our economy is moving in the right direction. But it's clear we have a long way to go. All told, our economy has added more than 1,500,000 new jobs since I took office. Some critics said that we didn't need the American, Res the American Rescue Plan, that this economy would just uh, heal itself. Today's report just underscores, in my view, how vital the actions we're taking are. Checks to people who are hurting, support for small businesses, for child care and school reopening, support to help families put food on the table. Our efforts are starting to work, but the climb is steep and we still have a long way to go. Today's report is a rebuttal, the loose talk that Americans just don't want to work. I know some employers are having trouble filling jobs, but what this report shows is that there's a much bigger problem, notwithstanding the commentary you might have heard this morning. It is that our economy still has 8 million fewer jobs than when this pandemic started. The data shows that more, more workers, more workers are looking for jobs and many can't find them. While jobs are coming back, there's still millions of people out there looking for work. And the American Rescue Plan is just that, a rescue plan. It's to get us back to where we were, but that's not nearly enough. We have to build back better. That's why we need the American Jobs Plan, I propose.